Welcome back to Magic Tarot. This is Jasmine with a quick love reading for the zodiac sign of Aries for May 16th through the 31st, 2019. I've pre-shuffled the cards and have three cards here in front of you. The Knight of Swords in the reverse, the Three of Pentacles in the reverse, and Judgment in the reverse. So with the first one, the Knight of Swords, this could represent Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. You may know a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and it's... Um, Showing that this person um, doesn't feel like he can, he or she can move in the direction that he was once moving in because he's lacking either mental stamina and or, or strength. Um, he's he or she is not able to cope with the conditions around him or what the relationship is bringing. It could also mean you you're feeling this way. Um, he's not. He's not. Doesn't seem to be telling the truth. This person's argumentative, um, ready to start a fight at just any little thing. Um, he, this person might be opposed to your thoughts or actions right now because of the way they're feeling about the relationship. I, I'm seeing that this per person is feeling that maybe he wants out of the relationship or it's not going the way he thought it would go. He or she thought that it would go. So they're not happy. Okay, so... Maybe that's why they're picking a fight because they they want out and just don't know how to say it. Uh, they they're not really being truthful right now about how they're feeling, and uh, that's why they want to start a fight real really easy. Um, this also could show there might be some kind of delays or struggles that that are like never ending. It seems like you try to talk to this person, but it's always the same argument, the same fight. And it always seems like it's never ending. Um, this person also might show lack of concern, um, you know, for your thoughts, your feelings, or, you know, what's important to you. So, um, also there could be like dishonesty or deception. So be careful when you get this card. Okay, so with the Three of Pentacles in the reverse, basically it's showing me the same thing. The Three of Pentacles in the reverse shows that there's a loss um, of some type of union or a disagreement of, it, of a union. It could be the love union you're involved. This also could be a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn that you're involved with. But there seems to be a lack of, of uh, union because of some type of disagreement or negotiation they all made with each other. Um, and you're not getting the outcome that you originally thought you would get. Or maybe this person feels that way, that they're not getting the outcome of this relationship or the, it's not like the way they thought they want and, and like they might want out but don't know how to tell you that they want out or maybe you feel that way and don't know how to tell them that they want out okay and the next one is so when you when you get judgment it's showing that this this card when it's in the reverse it's showing that there's a fear of failure so this person might be feeling that he he or she failed at the relationship or you might be feeling that you failed and so this card is telling you to listen and pay attention you know to what's going on around you um uh judgment verse can indicate like a fear of losing control or fear that you won't find happiness or this person feel, feels that they won't find happiness in the relationship so they're showing like a lack of interest in the relationship or you may be showing a lack of interest in the relationship and they just don't know how how to quite say it in or put it into words so they they're not um like answering all your questions or like when you do answer ask them a question they might not be telling you the whole truth about how they're feeling or what they're thinking or maybe you might be doing that to them so um, the best thing to do is to continue to ask this person what it is that they want and then make a decision from there because if a person isn't going to share their true feelings with you, then maybe it's time to get out. You know, it's time to leave and find happiness someplace else because you, no one can live like that, right? I, I wouldn't want to be with a person that doesn't show me any emotional, you know, emotional anything. And when I try to talk to them, they don't tell me the truth. They only get half truths, and no one can live like that. So it's either Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You might be involved with that's acting this way, and maybe they just want out, or maybe you want out because it's not what you thought it was going to be. And if that's the case, then maybe it's, it is best to get out. I'm not telling you what to do, but you have to make your own judgment. 
your own judgment, you know, according to what you want in the future, okay? If you want to be happy and find someone that truly cares about your feelings, then you need to put an end to what doesn't no longer serve you. So if there's something that no longer serves you for your higher good or for your happiness, then it's time to let that go so new things can come in. Okay, so that is the basic reading for Aries. And then remember, these are only energies for May 16th through the 31st because energies change every day. Okay, so make your affirmations, write down on paper what it is that you want the universe to bring you so it can come. Make a decision for your for your higher good and for your happiness. Okay, so um, sometimes it is hard to let go of people because we're used to being with them. And getting used to something is not always good, you know, because then it's harder to let go. But think about what it is that you want for for that's going to make you happy. And, and think about what kind of union you want to be with where it's equal. You know, you don't want to be given more emotion than the other or vice versa. It doesn't work that way. If you can't, if the both if two people can't give the same emotion to each other, then it's not going to work. Okay, so that is your basic message for Aries, Zodiac sign of Aries, May 16th through the 31st. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and come back for another quick reading. Bye-bye.